Well, joining us uh, now from San Francisco, California, is Nora Sadiq uh, to talk more about this. She is Assistant Professor of Political Science at Michigan State University. Thanks very much for being with us. Um, now, historically, the United States has been Israel's uh, strongest backer in, in all of this. But given the uh, uh, groundswell uh, of opposition uh, that is building uh, in many parts of the American public uh, over the, uh, what is, Israel is doing um, in Gaza. How problematic is this for uh, the Biden administration right now? The Biden administration should be very concerned because there is an immense erosion of public support that we are seeing in the United States, particularly with a key demographic. We have individuals from age 18 to 34, and a recent poll showed that um, you had a 14 percent decrease in support from October to November just among Democrats. So in October, 48 percent asked if they were sympathizing with Israel, and they said yes. And that dropped to 34 percent. And conversely, for young folks, you see that in October, when they were asked about their sympathies, only 26 percent sympathized with the Palestinian case. That has doubled to 52 percent. So what this means is that the young generation, the ones, the, the ones that really have a hard time showing up to vote, that can be the critical vote for Biden in the upcoming election, are losing, are sympathizing with the Palestinian case. They are recognizing the atrocities. And in a lot of ways, they're holding uh, President Biden himself um, accountable for the decisions and sort of the what what individuals are are saying in polls that I have conducted and in interviews that in a lot of ways individuals are holding um, President Biden himself accountable to what we're seeing occurring right now. And obviously, we're still uh, the the U.S. presidential election is still a long way off, still just under a year away. But given the fine margins here and, and given the fact that he's actually trailing uh, his, his main Republican opponent at the moment, th this, this loss of support uh, it could be critical for him, couldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. You have states like Georgia, like Michigan, that were razor-thin margins, that one, Minnesota. And in those states, you have sizable Muslim populations that could be the deciding factor for him winning the state or not, particularly in a place like Michigan, where the voter base is not only Muslim Americans, but Arab Americans. You have um, local Arab Christians, and they are very politically engaged. And, none, and right now, there is a discourse of of do we vote for Biden? How do we hold the Democratic Party, who has had almost the near complete support from these critical voter bases, accountable to actually listening to and attending to the needs of their voter base? And right now, there is a diminished trust that the Democrats are willing to listen and to acknowledge the concerns of voters. And in a, in a state like Michigan, that could be the deciding turning point for um, President Biden and the, and the DNC doing well or not there. So just turning back to uh, what is happening in Gaza right now then, and as we've been reporting, there yes. are uh, a lot of indications of an imminent deal to release some uh, uh, Israeli captives uh, held by uh, Hamas in the Gaza Strip in exchange for uh, uh, Palestinian prisoners in Israel. What do you make uh, of that? Are these just kind of uh, short-term uh, short goals in and of themselves for, for, for both sides, or could this lead to something further? I mean, the, the reality is, is that they've only said it's a temporary ceasefire. And as far as we can say from the Israeli statements, they have explicitly said that they intend to resume fighting. I think in a lot of ways, what individuals are trying to do is um, uh, uh, almost um, assuage public opinion because there is growing international concern from um, not only from Americans but international community, and so I think in a lot of ways what people are hoping is that 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 that's seen as a peace mill. Look, look, we're trying to put one best forward, but this is temporary, and what we need to pay attention to is what happens after those five days. Because there has been indication that they're not, they have said they will not allow the Gazans that are from North Gaza to return. Um, the, the, the situation is deplorable for those who have survived. So I am less optimistic. And I think as viewers that are watching, and uh, we need to pay attention to sort of what this looks like after those five days, after this initial exchange, if it goes through.
Good to speak to you. Nora Sadiq uh, joining us there from San Francisco. Thank you.